In this video, I want to show you how to create um, circles or groupings for Karnoff maps using Word. Um, you can use it um, you know, to, just to do circles, basically, is what we're going to do. So normally you're at the Home tab up here at the top. Sorry. You're at the Home tab up here in the top. And uh, let's say I gave you just, there's three um, examples here. So it's nothing, nothing super fancy, but just some examples of what you might see uh, while you're doing your Karnoff maps. So the first one. We've got a three variable one. So what you want to do is instead of being at home, you want to go to insert and then shapes. And then you may have circles up here if you've used one recently, like the oval. Normally it's under basic shapes. It's right here, oval. And when you first do it, it's just going to, every time you do it, it's going to be a filled in oval. So let's say I'm going to group um, these two first. So I'm just going to kind of start at a corner and drag it down. And you see, you can't see anything there. And you can you can move it up and down as long as you have the arrows pointing each direction. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna do shape fill right here and just say no fill. And that way it'll, it'll show up that way. And if you wanna do a bigger outline, you can. Um, you can do a thicker line uh, just to be able to see it better. You can also change the colors up here too. So I'll do the next one as a different color. So I've done that one grouping. Now I wanna do the other grouping. So insert shapes. And again, it's up here because I've reused it recently. And this one is actually the two sides. So I can't do you know a split circle like I would if I was hand drawing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the same color. Uh, we'll make it the yellow color, no fill, and a bigger outline, weight, and that one. And then what I can do is since it's just the one, I can copy it like Control C or you can right click and do copy. And then I can do control V and paste it. And then if you get up here to go to where you can get the two arrows up and down and side to side and you can move it. Same color, uh, so I know it's one grouping, so that's good. Um, if um, you could have done like one circle and then done another circle, and I just copied and pasted it just because it's easier. Um, like I said, you can do right click and copy and right click and paste. So I can paste another one right here, just paste. Them. All right, so let's do this one down here. Insert shapes with the oval. And this one is up and down right here. And you can see I just kind of go a little longer. So I can move it like that. Let's say, let's make this one um, green and no fill. And weight, my line's a little thicker. And then I want to. For the next one, I want to, if you keep going, you can just click it right here and it's gonna be right there. Let's make this one orange, no fill, and that's kind of how you do it. So let's do the last one. I've got a bunch of them here. So we're going to do this oval again. I've got two here in the middle. And I'll just leave that as blue. Fill. And then we want another one for these two. We'll do this one gray, I don't know. Pick any color you want. As long as they're different colors, uh, it really doesn't matter which one you use. Okay, and then the four corners, we're going to have to do four different circles because, like I said, they don't have open um, circles. I mean, they might have somewhere, but it's just not worth worrying about. So we could do, if you want to, you could try, um, let's see, a curve. Curve might work. And then you hit escape to, to change it. And then you can change the weight. Make it thicker. And we've changed the color to orange. I don't know. So I just did a curve. Um, this one right here, the curve. And you kind of click once. Click down where you want the curve to be. And then click again to make it actually curve. And then click and then hit escape. And that's how I'm doing it. And then change the weight. So you can do these open um, 
like circle things. Make sure they pick, uh, make sure you pick the same color and weight. Um, and again, you could have just done circles. I would have been fine with that either way. Yeah, so there you go. So that's kind of how you do the cutoff maps using Word on your handouts. If you want to, like I said, um, in, the, uh, in the handout itself, you can either print out the handout, do them by hand, like circle them by hand. It'd be nice if you had a color uh, pencils and a color scanner, but you don't have to. Um, but it'd be nice if you, um, you can print them out by hand and, and scan them back to me in, as a Word document or a PDF. Or you can do them like this. Um, I think this is just about as quick as doing it um, the other way. So, so anyway, hopefully that helps a little bit. And if you have any questions, you know, you can always uh, post something in the discussion board. Or if you have something on the actual assignment itself, post it in the assignments conversation. And uh, this will take care of it.